we emailed her and we called her and we texted her. I left countless voicemail messages. I did everything I could, minus showing up at her front doorstep. The wedding day is one of the most important days of a couple's life. But what happens when the person you paid to help document that day in photographs vanishes with your pictures? Well, that happened to at least two local couples. And they found themselves with nowhere to turn, except they figured out it was time to get Marty. The wedding picture, classic, joyful, snapshots of a life-changing day. However, if these images are held hostage by a slipshod photographer, the joy of sharing the memory can turn into a nightmarish experience. This has just been awful. It's hard to not get irrational or get upset. John and Lynette Lanskroner got married seven months ago, hired a photographer from an internet website called Thumbtack. The site promises to find experienced professionals. The couple paid for the pictures. The photographer disappeared with their pictures. Honestly, we did a Google search to she, see if she had passed away. The Mizgalskis were married more than 10 months ago. Paid the photographer, never saw a picture. It's hard to comprehend. I mean, it's honestly difficult to wrap your head around how someone who owned a business or owns a business can, you know, say they're going to provide you a product. You pay for it in full ahead of time, and then they just, you know, go and witness protection or something. The couple has lots of picture frames, but no wedding pictures. When they finally got in touch with their photographer, asked for their photographs, they were sent a nasty email stating, if you attempt to contact me at work again by way of phone or email or contact anyone with whom I work, I will throw your pictures in the garbage. I didn't know how to go about getting my pictures without her destroying them. We got involved, reached out to both photographers to get wedding pictures for the two couples. Here we go, the disc. I was able to get the disc with the Mizgowski's wedding pictures hand delivered to me if I promised not to use the photographer's name. I had to meet somebody and exchange this just to get this to your house. The disc is in the laptop, the pictures are there. Oh, yeah. After 10 months, the wedding pictures are finally where they belong. That's, my, That's me and my dad. Yeah. <laughs> Leah and Josh couldn't be happier. We contacted Judge Judy. The Lance Groners were desperate when we reached out to their disappearing photographer. She sent this email. We have worked this out as I agreed with Thumbtack and my clients. According to Thumbtack and the clients, that wasn't accurate. In fact, Thumbtack had to suspend the photographer's account. A short time later, the photographer released the wedding pictures. Seven months late, the Lance Groners are thrilled. So you ended up with me instead of Judge Judy? Yes. But we got it resolved. Yes, you got it resolved. Judge Judy is not even in this. See, Judge Judy just bailed. So what do you do? A couple things you have to do. Check online reviews. Check with event planners and wedding planners. Ask them who they recommend before you hire a photographer. Bridal shows are sometimes a good resource. In some cases, if the photographer is from an online site, the site will go after them. And it helped in this case. Thumbtack was wonderful. Finally, if you must sue them, you've got to go after them in magistrate's court. It's for cases of up to $5,000. You don't need a lawyer. The fees are less than $200. But that is a big hassle. No, that is a big hassle to do. I love the, I love the threat. You, yeah. If you try to contact me, anything like that, I'll throw them in the garbage. But Garbage. What, why? What, what's going on with the photographer? I just think they're flakes. I'm, I just really do. They disappeared. We had to tell them we were going to get the attorney general's office involved, which they're very active, and lawyers were going to send them demand letters, and then the pictures show up. Why wouldn't they right. just... I really don't know. I mean, obviously, <laughs> they're digital. They're on oh, a they had how, them. how hard is it to just say, here you go? And it was weird. Huh. I had to meet the one guy at the paid. front desk with the security guard. He, he made a handoff. <laughs> it, and it, it, it was weird. And, but they had all been paid for, right? And then they said, please promise you won't use our names. I mean, how professional could you be when you're embarrassed mm. for your name to be used? Yeah. I don't know. A little strange. Well, well at they, least have they, their, they have their pictures, They got their right? pictures. Okay. They're very happy. Yeah. Okay, good. Well, and we beat happy, Judge yeah. Judy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Prosecutor Marty or something. Yeah, something like that. All right, Marty, All right, thanks. thanks so much. Well, hey, if you have a problem and you would like to get Marty, email getmarty at kdka.com or call 412-575-2244.